Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. Let's look at more PR. Woo! Hello, it's Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to the channel. Hello, hello. Now, I recently did a video where I started unboxing some of the fabulous items I get in the mail known as PR. What does PR mean? People? Really? No, I don't know what it means. I mean, it's public relations? What does public relations have to do with sending me lipstick? I don't know. That feels like a really heavy word for we're gonna send people things. But you guys really like unboxing. What is it with the psychological push and pull of watching people open mail? I don't know. Since opening my mail is a federal offense, I think it's fine for me to open it for you. So let's get into it. We got more makeup. We got a lot of weird stuff here today. So before we start unboxing, please subscribe to the channel. We got new shit all the time. Let's unbox. First up, baby. Uh, Brandon started unboxing some of this stuff um, against my will, so some of it's half opened. We got the Star Wars Pressed Powder Palette from ColourPop. You guys, I've I've never seen the Star Wars. I feel I feel embarrassed telling you that, but this looks nice. I think. Ooh, oh, look at the look at these like moon colors. Oh, that's a Star Wars. This is really cute. I think that I'm gonna honestly. ColourPop earmuffs. Whenever I get something Star Wars related, I give it to Fina Barbatol because she loves Star Wars. So I know that this will go to a good home and that home is Fina Barbatol. ColourPop also sent me four, ooh. ColourPop also sent me five lip glosses. Oh, that's nice. You know, I don't have to like Star Wars, but I do like nice colors and nice things. What else? Oh, Star Wars graphic art liner. Oh, are these liquid liners? Oh, it's a dark purple. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Fina, yeah. I love having nice things, but if I feel like something is gonna really make someone's life, I'm gonna give it to them. Thank you, ColourPop, for sending me Star Wars items. Go see a Star Wars. All right, up next, we got Refi. Now, roll the tapes. The last time Refi sent me something, they sent me basically what I interpreted as a threat to my life. Um, very odd. They sent a framed photo. Very weird. Very weird. And um, again, I love their ultra simple packaging. It's like everything's the MoMA. This says skin finished water based powder. Water based powder? We'll just see about that. Refi. Hi, Trixie. Hope you have a love. Hope you love Refi skin finish. Can't wait for you to try the products. Love Jess and the Refi team. This one's a little warmer than the last one. The last one had that big Zoolander energy. As usual, the ads from Refi are just beautiful. Look at Jess, can you believe it? Just so gorgeous. Would, if, you, if I looked like this, would you guys like my channel more? Be honest. She's killing it too, whoever that model is, wow. So it looks like this is a skin finish, which is a water-based powder that leaves your skin looking like skin. A natural finish that smooth skin reduces shine and holds your makeup in place. They sent shade one and shade two, and they sent a beauty sponge. Oh, interesting shape. Look at that. Kind of an egg that's carved up. Interesting. Skin finished water-based powder. Oh, keep this lid on after use. Okay. There's more lids. Oh. Weird. Should we try it? It says looks like skin. I'm afraid it's going to look wet, but let's just try it. Uh, there is water in this. It's like putting water in your face. Uh. There's water in this powder, you guys. It says water-based powder. There's water in this powder. This powder has water in it. There's water in the powder. Refi, frightening me and making confusing decisions, um, but having very beautiful, beautiful ads. My face is literally wet from that. I don't know who that's for. But you know what, maybe out of drag, honestly, I think it would be really pretty, natural skin. To me, it's just not, I don't know. Next thing, we got a From Gay to Z, A Queer Compendium by Justin Elizabeth Sayer. It looks like an alphabetical, oh. It's a book that has the gay BCs that collects luminaries, pillars, places, and events that have been formative in queer culture. 
If I'm not in it, I'm rioting. Let's see. Is it in is it in alphabetical order? Kylie Minogue is in here. George Michael, Terrence McNally, Dina Martina, Ross Matthews, M A T T E L. Come on. Not in it. So this must be a misprint. No, congratulations, this is really cool. I mean, this would be the perfect thing to give to somebody like your little gay cousin who just came out. I mean, what if they learn everything they know about being gay from TikTok? Yikes. What do we have here? A book? First time for everything. That sounds like porn. The book you're holding is one I wish I had when I was younger. Porn? Finding out who I was. Porn? We're such big fans, sending this as a shot in the dark, but on the off chance you take a look, I hope you love it. That is very sweet. Wow. The author, Henry Fry, um, sent this to me, thank you. And maybe I will read it. You know, I read a lot of Stephen King and honestly, after Cujo, I think I need something calming because that book scared me a lot. I now am afraid of dogs. I went to a Vanderpump fundraiser the other day and there was dogs everywhere and I was like, Cujo! Up next, One Size sent me some new products and you know on this channel, we turn up for One Size. So, looks like we have the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. Didn't we get this already? Didn't we get this in the last PR video? Isn't it like two blushes and then one has a little door? One exists was cracked. I think because it was cracked, they sent replacements. Look how pretty these are, you guys. It's a cream blush with a powder blush with a highlighter. Calm on, and I'm sorry, the compacts. Tell me this is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Isn't this amazing? I'm sorry, all the makeup girls, me included, one size is coming for our wigs every single launch. I mean, these are so, this one's called Very That. Oh, that like muted rosy cream blush with this completely neutral blush with, oh, oh. I honestly, I will actually really be using these. So thank you very much, one size. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else we got here? Oh, this is from Sugar Pill and I think this is the Barbie collab. Trixie, my love, I heard you might be a Barbie fan. The lashes are probably too small for you, but you could cut them and use them as bottoms. <laughs> Not the first time I've used someone as a bottom. Love you. It's a total lie. I don't think I've ever talked to anyone. Um, you didn't have to laugh at that. You didn't have to, you don't have to be like yelled at from behind the camera. I knew about this collab because let's just say in the makeup world, it's a small world, we're very connected. We got the, Barbie and Sugar Pill lashes. We have Dress Up and Iconic. Look at those top ones with the little stones. Oh my God, gorgeous. Oh, look at these ones. These ones are called Malibu. Look at these. Wow, 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 wow. It looks like, what are these? Uh, oh, lip glosses. Oh, lip gloss, Barbie lip glosses. Girl, we did the Barbie Pure collab on this channel. We did the Barbie ColourPop collab. Anything Barbie, we pretty much do. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at this packaging. How am I supposed to maintain composure in a world like this? Look at this. This color is called Dream House. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I mean, this is like product that even if I don't use it, I'm, I can't give it away. I'm sorry, this is, this is gonna be mine and no one else's. Oh, this one's just called Barbie. I wonder what color it is. Oh. Didn't expect it to be like a chrome white. Interesting. With like a shift to it. You see that kind of green shift it has? Oh, this packaging is beautiful. And I have to say, I'm glad they went kind of 90s Barbie with it. Do you see like ponytail Barbie? And look at that, isn't that amazing? Congratulations, Sugar Pill. I mean, you really never let anyone down. And I mean, collaborating with Barbie, that's gotta be like kind of a tall order. And you did it. Sis, you ate. You ate, you snapped, and you gave. Up next, I knew this one was coming and I'm I'm interested. I have really avoided looking at this one because I want to know, but I didn't want to know until now. We have the Girl Scouts Hip Dot collab. I believe this came in when I was in on tour in Europe, so maybe everybody already has this but me, but I think this is really cool. By the way, if you like Girl Scout stuff on this channel, we have tested every single Girl Scout cookie for quality control. And we have done the Easy Bake Girl Scout kit, so we definitely support the gals. By the way, we learned this in the Girl Scout cookie video. Did you know that anybody except somebody who identifies as cis male can be a Girl Scout? Anybody, isn't that great? Oh, that is cool, okay, wow. I'm just really into this, oh God, okay. When we did the Girl Scout video, we decided from taste testing that the two best were the coconut caramel and the thin mint. 
and look at the girls. It looks like we have a Girl Scout Thin Mints pigment palette. Let's see what's in there. Oh, neutrals. I kind of think greens are neutrals. Like grassy greens to me are neutrals. This is really beautiful. And I have to say, Hip Dot does these vertical palettes once in a while. I think that the Tapatio one was hit, like vertical. I think these verticals are a really fun way to like switch it up. It also makes me feel like it's a 90s phone. That is really, really cool. I wanna see the other one. This is the Samoas or Coconut Caramel or Caramel Delight one. Oh, bitch. We might actually have to use this on the channel, to be honest. This is really beautiful. <gasps> Let's be honest, the names are very PC. It's like brave, happy, like that's fine. I'm happy for everyone. This is gorgeous. And I have to say, I didn't expect this cookie to be purples, but I actually really think it's pretty, don't you? I always think purples are a really cool way to wear color that's not a neutral, but isn't super loud. Like these berries, it's basically a neutral. That is so beautiful. Look at that. Hello? All right, they also sent two tools, which I find interesting. A Girl Scout's Hip Dot Crease Brush. Beautiful. By the way, any makeup companies out there, if you want me to be your best friend, if you send me brushes, it's over. I am a brush. How many brushes do we have, Brandon? Not enough. Thousands, millions and thousands. They sent two different kind of crease brushes here. I would say this is a crease brush as well. These are cute. And then looks like we have some tinted lip balms. This one's Thin Mint. As much as at Trixie Cosmetics, we love really big, crazy packaging. I actually really like when companies do this recyclable cardboard, like sustainable packaging. I think it's really cool. How tinted are these? Let's find out. Uh, that's more than a lip balm. That's like a lipstick. Wow, these are very tinted for lip balm. Our bestie balms are very sheer, but I guess people want levels, right? Oh, this nude. Oh, that's like a lipstick though. I think this is like a lipstick. A full coverage lip balm, that's a lipstick. This is a cool collection. I've wanted to do at Trixie Cosmetics, like a scouting sort of storyline in one of the collections. And I think if we ever do that, we will go, you know, this is a very wholesome interpretation. I think we would go a little campier. See that, you see that 12 second delay for that joke to travel across the room? You know it's bad when the people who you pay don't even laugh at your jokes. Dolly Parton sent me something, which is always kind of surreal. Um, she sent me a few things before, including a tissue box. I have a Dolly Parton tissue box that when you watch Heartstrings, certain audio cues in the show make the tissue box open because it's sad. But I didn't use those tissues for crying, I'm just saying. Dolly sent me um, salt and pepper shakers in a spoon rest set. This is cute, right? I really want a new house. And so um, I think my new house, my kitchen will be less Barbie. So this could be nice. Thank you, Dolly Parton. I mean, I'm sure that she didn't address this to me, but uh, whoever on her team made this happen, thank you very much. This is very cool. All right, Hip Dot, um, I'll just say this. What I love about Hip Dot is when they pitch a collab, no one in the room goes, no, that's too weird. They just go for it. I mean, Tapatio and Hip Dot, Play-Doh and Hip Dot, it's always weird. And this time Hip Dot is doing cup of noodles. I mean, go off, like go off for real, but this is wacky. Bitch. Now we all have had cup of noodles. I mean, if you've gone to college on your own dime and you have student loans, you know what a cup of noodle is. When I used to work at the mall, I ate the cup of noodle and I honestly still eat the cup of noodle, so. Oh my God. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not ready for this. It looks like we have a cup of noodles powder puff. What are these? What are these? Oh. These must be liquid lipsticks. They don't say what they are. Are these supposed to be hot sauces? Gold? Interesting. I love noodles. I love cheap noodles. So I, I'm actually really into this collab. I think this is really cute. I think this makeup bag is absolutely adorable. Look at this makeup bag, you guys. A cup of noodles makeup bag. What is the world we're living in? 
Let's look at the palette. This is an eight shade pigment palette. It looks like it's vegan and clean formula. <gasps> Whoa. Again, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect this. Whoa, is this a press splitter? <gasps> oh, wow. You look like the 4th of July. <gasps> look at these press glitters. <gasps> look at that. Wow. Congratulations, Hip Dot. I love all my PR lists equally. I think that being on the Hip Dot PR list is the most exciting because I never know what's going to come out of this box. We've got uh, cannabis infused social tonic, our friends at Can and Weed Maps, a little different. Can taste so good. Whoa. Oh, drag queens. Oh my God. There's drag queens on this. Look at Cornbread, Willow Pill, Gus Kenworthy. We're only missing Sarah Michelle Gellar, but that's okay. Look at, I'm, you guys, now that I started doing about 2.5 milligrams of marijuana per month, I'm a weed influencer now. Hi guys, weed, doing weed. Me, do you like weed maps? It's a map of the weed. Holy, wait a minute. There's a CD player in here. There's a portable CD player in here. <laughs> what? I haven't held a CD player like this in like a decade. You guys, I'm just gonna be honest, like, PR can be very boring, and choices like this are so cool. You know that cool people work at this company. They're like, what if we sent cans of THC drinks and an actual CD player? Are you kidding me? You guys, it says taste so good mix. Look at that, look at that. This is the Blonde and the Pink album. Let's see if it works. Listen, we're listening to a CD. <laughs> that is so stupid. Now, something you kids don't understand is like, this is this is what we used to walk around and listen to. I don't think you understand that. That's, you guys, I can't even process that. That's really insane. How much are these? Two milligrams of THC? I wanna drink one of these sometime. These are cool. Congratulations to Can for coming into Pride Month swinging. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can do Pride Month wrong, and it's through not creative marketing and not including actual queer voices. Checkmate, bitch. Nice work. All right, let's keep going because honestly, that was crazy. That was really crazy. I mean, after getting the death note from Refi and a CD player, I don't know what's coming in the mail anymore. But we got something from Sigma, and Sigma really never disappoints. In the last video, they sent us the mod uh, eye palette, which was like beautiful. This is really heavy. Um, let's see what's in here, shall we? Buttery soft blendable shades for a radiant complexion. Oh my God, highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. <gasps> Look at this. It's like people want me to be a hoarder. These are all highlighters. Oh wow, these are all highlighters. Never gonna run out of highlighter in my life. <gasps> New brush, cheekbone highlighter. Should we try one on? This one's a moonbeam highlighter. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, pretty, wow. Wow, wow, highlighter, wow. Pretty, I think. Thank you, Sigma, you know that I have a face and you know that I like to put things on it. That was very thoughtful of you. Oh, more paperwork, wow. Oh, blood. These are all blushes? Oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack. These are all blushes. Oh, you guys know how I feel about blush. Oh, I'll say something controversial. These are all really similar. Um, <laughs> very pretty. This is very me. Blush Sunset Kiss. Wow, wow, wow. That is beautiful. Oh, that is like an orgasm color. It's like a, like a sparkly champagne orange. That is beautiful. Do, am I, is it just me though? Or like these are kind of similar, right? I mean, these are in the th that these are in the same box. Like, look at these two. You could have just done one of these. I mean, and I say that as somebody who thinks that all blush is valid. What's going on? And this must be bronzer down here. <gasps> Giant bronzer brush. Matte bronzers, four shades. All right. Wow, this is the lightest one. Oh sh. Oh, this is dark. Okay, these are mixed around. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, ah, uh, light. Oh, here's light. 
Okay, yeah, this is the lightest one. I, this one was in the slot for the lightest, and I was like, I don't know if I could use that. These are beautiful. You guys, I really like Sigma. I have to say, I think that quality-wise, they are becoming one of the brands that I'm the most impressed by. I mean, the presentation, the pigment, the packaging, and the price point, like, is pretty amazing. I've been using Sigma brushes since I was probably 21, 22. I've been using Sigma since they were just a brush company. So, the way they've continued to grow is just, it's pretty wild. This is amazing. This is amazing. All of these are beautiful. I gotta do a video with these. Gotta do a video with these. All right, this last one's kind of big and kind of wild. This came from Peacock Originals. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. It's a painting that says Los Angeles, California. Peacock Original, Angeline. Oh. Okay, there's a lot in here. Whoa. Um. You got a camera, you got an Angeline camera. I actually already had this camera, so now we have two. Um, wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow, Polaroids with some film. Thank you. Oh, charger, a charger for the camera. Maybe that's why ours never works. Yeah. We don't charge it. <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. What is this? Oh, this is the nameplate, this is Peacock Original. Wow. You know, fun fact, I auditioned for this. I haven't seen the show, but I read for a scene where there was a drag queen who hosts an Angeline lookalike competition, and I read for it, and I did not get it. Did not get it. Did not get it. Joe Malone, what do you got here? Red Roses bath oil? I'm gonna take a bath and touch myself later. This is really nice. Oh, I've actually had these. These chocolate bars are unreal. This is the dark chocolate pretzel one, but the cake chocolate one, the cake batter chocolate is also absurd. These are delicious. From Compartis Chocolatier, California chocolate, really, really good. And then this jacket, I remember they asked me my size and I didn't know why they were asking that. Uh, uh. <gasps> it's embroidered Trixie. Oh my God, that is so nice. Wow, wow. It's, oh, I can wear this out of drag. I never get anything I can wear out of drag. Oh my God, this is so nice. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's a large. Well, hmm. Hmm. I think it'll still fit. This is really cute, wow, wow, wow. Congratulations to the Angeline people. I have not seen the show yet. My partner, David, has seen it and he says it's lit. So anybody who's gonna wear a full face of makeup and fake silicone titties, you're okay in my book. And finally, this is not PR technically, but the director of photography for Trixie Motel gave me this wrap gift of David and I, Aww. the first day of like really swinging the hammer with demolition. Look at that, isn't that cool? I'm gonna hang that in my house or I'm gonna sell it, I don't know. Thank you so much for opening PR with me today. I think opening packages, no matter what mood I'm in, it just like, I love getting free stuff. And I know we get a lot, but we donate a lot of it. So if there's anything in this video you want me to use, I kind of have my eye on those Sigma bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. If there's anything you wanna see me use, comment below and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>